All right, y'all, we have some cinnamon rolls here, the cheap kind. So y'all, I'm making a delicious variation on a, a cinnamon roll hack. I've made this, um, y a lot of y'all have seen this video, but for this, I like to use the cheap ones. I feel like they look pretty and they turn out real good. All right, so we have two cans of the store brand cinnamon rolls. We put them in the bottom of our grease nine by 13. This one fell apart, so we're just gonna roly roll it back together, all right? So we're doing a, a, a special holiday version of this, delish, of this delicious cinnamon roll hack. Y'all are gonna love this. All right, open these up. I hit that real hard. I hope I didn't damage my counter. Oh my goodness. I didn't, right, Fred? Okay, this one's roly roly. All right, so here we go. We're just putting these around like so. And how come they coming apart? I don't like that. I don't like that. All right. I ain't got time for that, y'all. Okay. All right. And then this one, we're just going to break up and put, um, we're going to put some little pieces. I feel like I used them all last time, but this is what we're going to do. We're just going to fill in the holes a little bit because I don't want to waste any of these. They're delicious. I don't want to waste any. All right. That's fine. We're just going right there and right there. Perfect. I don't like that one. Okay. All right. Fine. Great. Great. Next. I have some eggnog. I love eggnog around the holidays. So now y'all, we're gonna pour some eggnog right on top of our cinnamon rolls, all right? So we put in this, so it's, they're about, uh, so the eggnog is about halfway up the cinnamon rolls. We're gonna move this to the side. I have one stick of melted butter. I also have about a half cup of brown sugar right on into our butter, all right? To this, we also going to add a little bit of apple pie spice. Um, this is just cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. So uh, I like to use this for this version, all right? With the eggnog, it's so good. So I don't know, one or two teaspoons. And then we also use a little bit of fancy salt. Y'all know how much I love my sea salt. Every time I travel, I buy salt. This one I just use, like, uh, is from Mexico. And then this summer, uh, when I was in Europe, I got some in France. So anyways, that's it. Story time's over. So we mixing this up real good, all right? Uh, brown sugar, butter, and whatever else I said, I forgot. Salt and uh, apple pie spice, all right? There's a few chunks of brown sugar in here, but that's fine. I keep uh, forgetting to like, I know y'all told me to like put a piece of bread in my brown sugar, I keep forgetting to do that, and then it gets hard, and anyways, that's it. Life is hard sometimes. Okay, so now we have our eggnog soaked cinnamon rolls. We gonna take our brown sugar and butter mixture and we're gonna pour it on top. All right, y'all, I'm so excited. Y'all have no idea. If y'all haven't tried the cinnamon roll hack yet, this is like the best thing ever, and we just making it a little extra special for the holidays, all right? So get all that on there. All right, one more thing I'd like to add, y'all. This is optional, but I have some dried cranberries. I just feel like this is like, this is just like, Fred's making a face at me right now. You wanna know, okay, y'all, I gotta tell y'all a story. Fred is driving me crazy again today. He, I'm making recipes and he's like, don't do that. I don't like it. I'm like, Fred, I don't care what you like. This is for this is for the viewers. It ain't for you, right, Fred? So he's mad I'm putting these on here, but I don't care. All right, y'all, that's it. Uh, we're gonna cover this with foil and we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. I can't wait to show y'all this amazing, yummy cinnamon roll hack. Cutest little baby ever. He was just looking at a hummingbird, y'all. And now I took him. I don't know what he's looking up there at. Hi, baby. I love you so much. My little floof. So fluffy. All right. Say bye. Say bye. And y'all, look. My dish is covered in foil. So I don't want to hear it about the cat hair. Right, baby? You're so cute. Mwah. All right. Kevin loves y'all. He does. He's so friendly. All right, y'all. So these were uh, the cinnamon rolls. I'm excited to see these. Oh my goodness, y'all, that looks so good. That looks amazing. So this was just a take on the cinnamon roll hack that I did, but a holiday version with eggnog and dried cranberries, all right? So now we're taking these little icing packs that came with the cinnamon rolls, and we're gonna drizzle this right on top. I'll let these cool, I've been letting these cool for a little bit, but that's it. So we're gonna put both of them on, all right? Both of the icing packets. Y'all, these are gonna be so good. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, that's it. All right, y'all, time to try one. I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna spatula me out one of these. Let's see here. Oh my goodness, these are so moist. I feel like I should cut it maybe, let's see. Actually, let's get this one. This one looks better. It's thicker. All right, y'all, 
Oh my goodness, look at that. I'm trying to pick it up so it don't, it's going to move. All right, y'all, look at that. It's so moist and fluffy and light. Um, this is going to be delicious. All right, I'm moving this to my plate. I'm trying. Oh my goodness, it's sliding everywhere. All right, y'all. Uh, me and Fred are excited about these. Time to take a bite. Uh, remember, use some apple pie spice as well. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Oh my goodness, this is like Christmas in a dessert. I'm just gonna keep eating because it's so good, but y'all have to try this. Mmm. -hmm.